Hello there! Do you find large language models intriguing, but you feel uncomfortable in connecting to someone else's computer, aka cloud, like ChatGPT online, right? And have you tried running it on your computer? I mean, you can do that. I didn't even know that it's possible to run uh, smaller language models uh, on the local laptop without the GPU even, uh, and it runs. I mean, fine, some answers um, take about a minute to generate, but uh, usually it's perfectly acceptable, acceptable if you have a older computer and if you have a newer computer with a beefier CPU or a GPU, then it's uh, quite fast. So there are a couple of options you can use and that's GPT for all that you can just download from the website, run it locally. Uh, and run language models such as Llama uh, from Meta. This is an open source language model. Uh, also, there is Alpaca. Uh, this is a GTK application for Linux. You can download it from FlatHub. Um, also, the, there is uh, Olama um, software that you can also download uh, for offline usage. And this one is the latest one that I tried and I think it's really cool combined with the web UI that they have. So let me show it to you. Okay, so first things first, you're going to have to go to olama.com website and download the software from there. I would recommend using it on Linux, but you can use Mac as well. Uh, use Windows at your own discretion. Uh, so this is the shell script that they are giving you to uh, install the software. You can just copy paste it to whichever Linux distribution you have, as long as it has uh, systemd, uh, and it will just install itself automatically and it will require root access to do so. Uh, if you're on Arch Linux like I am, you can just go to Olama uh, package. You can just install it with Pacman, right? Uh, choose whether you want to run it with uh, CUDA cores from NVIDIA, uh, with the uh, Radeon cards, or maybe just the uh, with, with the CPU, right? So after you have installed the package, you are going to have to run some uh, language models, right? So I have already installed it on my PC, and this is how you install language models. Olama uh, run llama 3.1 okay so it will spin for a while and after that it will be installed right i have already installed it previously so i'm not going to show it to, to you how it looks like while it's installing but uh, it suffice to say it just takes a couple of minutes to download and that's about it you can type ctrl d to exit from here uh, so one of the things that you are going to have to do uh, before you run the model, you're going to have to start the service. This is how you start it. And it's now started. Actually, it was even started before, but this is the command that you're going to have to use to start it before you're going to use it. You can uh, make it start automatically with your operating system with enable command and after this you're going to have to uh, download the web UI that I'm going to show you. But in order to run web UI you're, you're going to need docker. So feel free to install docker whichever uh, means you have. You can use the package manager from your Linux distribution. You can use uh, official docker instructions from docker web page or if you're on Arch Linux, you can just install the Docker package. After Docker is installed, you're going to have to go to open uh, web UI uh, GitHub page and then go to the installation instructions. So if Olama is already on your computer, as we have previously done, uh, you're going to have to run this command. This command will download the Docker image that is required to run 
uh, this web UI software and after it downloads it, it, going to, it is going to run it automatically. However, uh, on my computer, uh, Docker wasn't set up properly for, for, for this uh, port uh, configuration. So what I had to do is go to troubleshooting where I discovered that uh, you're going to have to run this command, network equals host, and tell where the Olama web service is running. If you don't do this and just run this command, your web interface is going to run, but you're not going to see any language models available for you. And this is where you're going to have to go back and delete this image and then go to these troubleshooting steps. I'm going to link uh, all of these web pages below this video so you can, uh, you know, for your copy pasting pleasure. But if you run uh, your um, open web UI uh, web page and you don't see the uh, language models available, then just go to troubleshooting and try this step uh, to run the Docker image this way. And, and once this is all boot up and running, you're going to be greeted uh, on this port uh, to run your web interface. If the initial instructions work for you, then your port will be 3000. And if you're going to use this um, workaround, then your port will be 8088 as it is on my interface. So when you first start it up, you're going to have to register um, for this service. And by register, I mean, um, create your account on your own Docker instance locally. So you're going to just have to enter your uh, desired username, email address uh, and password and it will, be, it will be created for you and you're automatically going to be the administrator of this instance. Uh, what this means is that you can add some other uh, friends to your instance or maybe your um, people who live uh, with you in your own home or maybe you want to share it with the entire world i don't really care about that uh, but this is the service that you're going to run on your machine and you are uh, enabled uh, to share it with whoever you want uh, so we can just go through the settings here you can uh, choose the team it can be all the dark or just system dark you can choose whichever language is supported here uh, the interface, you can choose the default model that you have uh, previously downloaded. There are some other settings that you might want to change. Uh, you can use text-to-speech, you can export import chests, you can um, add more uh, accounts. Uh, there are a lot of administrator settings here, but let, let me just uh, take you to a little demo, right? So. Hello, Lama, how are you? And for the first time, it is going to take a little bit. Uh, as you have seen, it stopped for a couple of seconds. This is for initial language model loading. Uh, after this, it is going to just uh, simply run your queries uh, immediately. So let me um, share something with you like There we go. And it's creating a hangman game. Okay, so what you have witnessed here is the real speed of my uh, Radeon card. And this is um, 6800RX uh, GPU. With NVIDIA CUDA cards, you might get uh, some more speed, but I think this is plenty fast. Okay. Okay, so as you have seen, the speed is quite good. Uh, and this is running the Llama 3.1 uh, model, which is 8B. Uh, and this model is perfectly capable of, capable of running on pretty much any uh, normal computer nowadays. So this speed that we have seen is coming from my GPU with uh, the uh, Vulkan driver. 
and you can run it on your CPU. It will run like 10 times uh, slower on a good CPU, but even 10 times slower than this is perfectly usable for some basic usage. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you in the next one.